everybody, I'm Leora Sims. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Lazio case. Today, Susanna is standing in front of a home that I built on a 40 by 30 lot in Oasis Springs. For this home, you need the following packs. Of course, you need the Sims 4 base game. You also need the Sims 4 City Living Expansion Pack, the Sims 4 Discovery University Expansion Pack, the Sims 4 Island Living Expansion Pack, the Sims 4 Get Together Expansion Pack, and the Sims 4 Seasons Expansion Pack. You also need the Sims 4 Vampires Game Pack and the Sims 4 Strangerville Game Pack. I was inspired to build this home after I watched the 1999 Star Wars movie this is designed to be the home that Panama's family lives in This, of course, is not an exact replica, but I did the very best that I could. And I really love the way it came out. And I was able to do some things building-wise that I don't normally do or get to do. So here's the front of the home. And when your sim enters the home this way, this is what you will see. And I'm going to put the walls down slightly right away. And back up. Your sim will enter this room which is tiled by terracotta tile. Here's a dining room table. Behind the dining room table is the first bedroom. It's a small bedroom with a single bed and flooring from the Vampire's Game Pack. Dark wood flooring. Let me just put the walls down slightly again. Back up. There we go. Sorry about that. Over here is a bookcase, so your sim could grab a book and go over here to the sitting area, the small sitting area. And right by the 
sitting area is the first bathroom in the home. Let me put the walls down again slightly. Here is the bathroom. Very simple and yet elegant, in my humble opinion. Over here by this chair is a second, much bigger bedroom. You could put things on the dresser, such as a bookend. I did that, but I took the bookend off because uh, that serves as another bookcase, and this home already has a bookcase, and I was trying to save simoleons because this house is rather expensive. There's a picture on the wall, a mirror. All the windows I used are from the uh, Strangerville game pack, which worked very nicely. Over here, next to the bookcase, and a little ways from the dining room table is a kitchen. Your sim can open the sliding door and enter the kitchen. In the scene that I saw um, of Panama and her family, they spent a lot of time um, in the kitchen. It actually seemed like three scenes in one. And um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do about the kitchen until I found the Strangerville. Uh, game pack uh, wallpaper which worked uh, which works very very well because the kitchen in the movie was a little white but it was a little bit more blue and silvery and there were some plants on the counter um, I think at least two plants which is why you see two plants on the uh, counter it was hard for me to find uh, a th um, two plants that would fit on that counter space. And you have a nice stove, and you have a uh, fire extinguisher, and a thermostat, and a fire alarm, and some flowers on the walls. which was very much fun to use, which I added. In the movie, there were no flowers on the walls, but uh, they seem to be nature lovers. If your sim goes up the stairs, there is another bedroom out.
out here. So I'm going to put the walls down ever so slightly and send Susanna up. I tried to hide this door. So it didn't look so obvious. And there are doors over here, but they're just for show. I think she could enter this front door, um, but she definitely can't enter this door. There's not enough room. So at least one of the doors is just for show. Uh, I believe you could use this one, and uh, so you can definitely use this one. But I wanted to make sure that there was something on top besides a window. In fact, I didn't want uh, a plain window up here. I have friends who have a, um, a very nice house. And they have very intricate uh, windows. And I was trying to, in a way, mimic that. By just adding a nice door here, I thought it would look nice. Along with the uh, windows from Strangerville again. And uh, this is just a large room. I'm sure you could fit... Um, a chest of drawers there or a desk by this window if you wanted um, and here is another bathroom let me just put the walls slightly down again so here is a uh, black flooring and uh, a white and black sink and a black toilet and the same uh, tub from Seasons and I liked the yellow color in this build the, the yellow paint it fit this I, I know I use that color a lot but it fit, it fit this build very well over here here's another door again that you can't use but this acts as a door and a window and now I want to send Susanna outside to the backyard or outdoor area. Now again, I originally put um, a door here, uh, but the window looked much better. The door, even though I picked one that um, kind of matched everything. It looked out of place a little bit. So there is Susanna. And uh, out here you have. Um, let me put the walls up. Out here you have a trash can and a lot of open space. Um, you all 
also have this enclosed area, which I really love. I also found something in game that I want to build with in the future. I was going to build with it in in this home, but uh, at the end it got cut out, and that's okay. But I can use it for other things that you will see soon on my channel. Okay, so C is here, and uh, there's a B box here. There's two ways to get in to this enclosure. Uh, this gate and this gate. Um, there are two seats, which were which were originally underneath something that I was going to use, and then deleted the thing that I told you that I will be using in another build very soon. And I know now where it is in the catalog, so it'll be very easy to find. It's something that I always wanted to build with that's very difficult to find, usually, when I'm building. Um, down here, you have a basement. Now, I wanted there to be a basement in this house because I felt that uh, with Eco Living coming out, you may want to place some things, some objects down in the basement uh, that we don't have access to right now. But this is a 40 by um, 30 lot and the basement is quite large. So far this is what I have down here. So here is a desk with a research computer which is different from a uh, regular computer. This will help your sim with the research skill. Um, here is a uh, flower arranging table. And here is a robot maker, which I thought was very important. Um, and at the last minute, I built this extra bedroom space for emergencies. So, so far, you have plenty of room here, but so far you have uh, some empty space. Um, a half bath, which consists of a toilet and a sink. And you have a bed with a lot of space. So I think that you could put some things down here um, from Eco Living. if you decide to get that pack. And you could expand, I believe you could still expand this basement if you wanted to. There's but I'm not 100% sure. But I did play test a lot, so everything works. If you wanted everything here to be eco-friendly living stuff, you could just delete uh, the flower arranging table and the desk with the research computer and the chair and the robot and scene and just put everything having to do with eco living down here. I don't know what objects we're going to get, but I just think that uh, this would be a good house for it. A basement was very important to me in this build. And I didn't build a basement in quite a long time. But I do love to build them. Sometimes they are difficult to build. This one turned out to be easy because there was a lot of space behind the kitchen. 
and I was able to uh, build an outside basement. A lot of times I build the basements inside, and even this is inside an enclosure. And out here you have um, a lot of plants. You have um, a grapevine, another grapevine, you have um, a strawberry bus, another strawberry bus, another strawberry bus, um, a pomegranate tree, another pomegranate tree, and another pomegranate tree. And I believe these are three apple trees. Let's just check. Here's an apple tree, and here's an apple tree, and here's an apple tree, and there, are pl there is plenty of room, plenty of green space that you could plant. You could plant more if you wanted to, definitely, but I wanted my plants spaced out greatly. wanted it that way because it's easier uh, to pl uh, to it's easier for me to have my sim learn the gardening skill when things are spaced out uh, there's some more space over here I believe this is still part of our lot uh, and it is the, the lot goes all the way to this edge right before the uh, pond. So this is a great spot. I am going to go back to the front of the lot and I'm going to show you the lot during the different times of day and I'm going to show you the roof. And uh, any lot rates. So here is the lot in the afternoon light. Here is the evening light. Here is the night light. Here is the morning light. I'm going to go back to the afternoon light. So this lot has the great soil trait, and uh, you see the top of the roof. This is the first picture of the roof. There's a satellite, it looks like, on top of the roof. It's the first time I was able to use those satellite dishes. And uh, here is the second um, roof picture. And this lot, which is already on the gallery as a residential lot, is $91,581 simoleons. My name on the gallery is Leora18, and this lot is called House of Naboo. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will enjoy this lot in your game. Thank you so much for watching. Be happy.
healthy and stay safe